Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal and uh, thanks for watching the video today. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, just click on the button. I think it should be right about right here, alright? So I'll just click on that button and subscribe and it really helped me out. Alright, let's take a look at this problem. So in this problem, we're just going to solve for x. So the first thing we're going to want to do, since we have denominators here, is to create common denominators everywhere, which allows us then to ignore all of the denominators and rewrite the expression. So if we do this, uh, what will happen is we'll multiply this 3x by 4, and uh, that allows us to divide it by 4 as well. And we'll multiply the 1 by 4 also, but divide it by 4. So it's not changing these, but the value of these terms. Then we can write this, uh, rewrite this. We have a 12x over 4 minus x over 4 equals 11x over 4 plus 4 over 4. So now that we have these common denominators, we can get rid of them. Now we've gotten rid of all the denominators, and at this point all we're going to do is solve for x using whatever method we choose. And I'll just use those principles of equality on this. So on this left side, I'm going to combine the x's. And then I have 11x equals 11x plus 4. Some of you already know what's going on right here. And at this point, I'm going to move all the x's to the left side of the equation by subtracting 11x on both sides. And that's where, this may be where you guys have noticed, uh, this gives us a 0x. Or, in other words, it really just gave us 0 equals, this went away, it canceled out, and we have this as 4. Well, 0 does not equal 4, which means in this case, there's no solution. Alright, and that's number one. Again, if you enjoyed the video, if it's helped you out, please subscribe.